guys, and welcome to another Mystery Bit video right here on Tetrabit Gaming, where we explore mysterious stories, rumors, and hoaxes in gaming. Now, if you were a kid growing up in the 90s or early 2000s, chances are high that you're no stranger to video game rumors during this era. In these times, many video game rumors flourished, as I guess since the internet wasn't nearly as accessible as it is now, fact-checking these rumors was uncommon. As such, they seemed more believable, and were quickly spread across schools and playgrounds everywhere. Anyways, today we are back again diving into another one of my favorite hoaxes of ages past, the time many people were tricked into believing that Super Mario Galaxy was coming to the Nintendo DS. So let's get to it. Released in November of 2007, Super Mario Galaxy was the first major Super Mario series game on the then hottest selling video game console, the Nintendo Wii. Featuring a space setting seldom seen in the Mario series, while keeping a playstyle that still felt familiar, Super Mario Galaxy quickly cemented its place as a fan favorite and to some even the best Mario game of all time, even to this day. So, after playing through and beating it, it's no shock that fans were hungry for more. Then, only about a month after Super Mario Galaxy's release, fans, myself included, were surprised to see something buzzing on the internet. In December of 2007, a video titled Super Mario Galaxy DS was uploaded to both YouTube and game trailers. After a short intro where the Wii logo turned into a Christmas thing, it was shown that after collecting 120 Power Stars as Mario, and then all 120 and the hidden 121st Power Star as Luigi, the stars could then all be fed to this here Luma. After doing so, would you look at that, we got a new galaxy! Featuring what looks like giant eggs of some sort and a new castle area, this galaxy would also apparently have all of the Power Star-like objects in it now replaced with gold shiny DS collectibles. And of course, that's not it. After showing the old DS download play loading animation for a bit, lower poly models of both Luigi and Mario appeared out of the golden DS's and oh baby here we go! Switching to a view of the bottom screen of a DS, we could now see the brothers flying together through some sprites and models, and oh man, you bet 12 year old me was getting excited. Mario was shown to be controlled by the stylus, with his jump being activated by tapping on the screen, there were more obstacles, enemies, and even Rosalina made an appearance in a low poly chibi form. The next few seconds were even more exciting seeing both Mario and Luigi moving independently on screen at the same time all but suggested that this game would also feature a two-player co-op mode of some sort. You know, something more involved than just having a second player collecting star bits in the background. Then the top screen of the DS was revealed to act as a heads-up display which would have a counter of the player's coins, star bits, lives, and I guess stars or gold DS's collected, the life meter, and of course, Mario's big old mug. Some more details were also shown off, like being able to quickly draw a circle with the stylus to make Mario spin, there was a battle with Dino Piranha, and then yes, it was indeed confirmed that a two-player co-op mode would be present, and a cool brotherly animation plays out when Mario and Luigi grab a star. Then, title card, Super Mario Galaxy DS. The video ended off with saying that for every one star collected in this game, it would be redeemable for 10 Wii points to be used on the Wii Shop channel. May it rest in peace. Wow, if that whole video didn't get you hyped in 2007 as a Mario fan, then I don't know what woulda. Everything from the expansion galaxy to the DS game graphics to the co-op, this all looked amazing. Now obviously, since this wasn't uploaded by an official Nintendo account, it had to have been a leak, right? And this all looked so real and accurate that there's no way it can be fake. Well, that's what many thought, but unfortunately, this just wasn't the case. As you probably know by now, we never got another galaxy in the game. There was no Luma to feed 120 stars like this. There was no co-op mode, and of course, officially, there never was a Super Mario Galaxy DS. Many people, however, were fooled, and some even reached out to Nintendo, who apparently didn't give an explicit rejection of this video and just said they don't comment on rumors. 
This lack of a definite answer made some fans hold on to their hope. Especially since they saw that Nintendo was able to bring Super Mario 64 over to the DS only a few years prior. On the other hand though, of course, many fans were skeptical, and rightfully so. Like, how could Nintendo fit this much content onto a DS given its very low internal memory? Why is this E in the title backwards here for a bit? The movement and models also seemed a bit off, and a Nintendo on planet? Wasn't that confirmed to be a hoax? And overall, why would Nintendo lock such a cool feature behind the grueling task of collecting 241 stars? Oh, and Nintendo giving away 10 Wii points per star? <laughs> As if. But even despite these seemingly glaring issues here, many were still convinced or hoping that this was real. Really, this only could have lasted until enough people started to meet the prerequisites that were given to unlock it. And once more and more people did start getting 120 stars as Mario and 120 stars as Luigi, they quickly realized that there was nothing more to unlock and that this was all a large ruse. It was later discovered that yes, indeed, this was all fake and a hoax video made by well-known hoaxer Pablo Belmonte. Pablo was already infamous for making the Nintendo On hoax years prior, and he would also go on to make even more hoaxes in the years that followed. According to Mr. Belmonte, who made an update video on YouTube in 2018, he started working on this idea a few months prior to Mario Galaxy's release, and this entire video was made for a final project he had to do for a design studies class, in which he had to create a viral video which would obtain at least half a million views in a short time. This seems like a pretty challenging task, especially since he wasn't an established YouTuber or anything, but I guess this was a time when being a YouTuber wasn't really a thing. Anyways, Mr. Belmonte also mentioned that since Mario Galaxy wasn't out while he was working on this, he had based basically his entire project on media that Nintendo had published at the time. So he basically just had screenshots and trailers to work with to recreate models, stages, and basically everything he used from scratch, for both the Wii version and DS version. The models, textures, animating, everything, all we see here in this project is completely custom made. Not too shabby at all for a student, I'd say. Honestly, if there was a version of Super Mario Galaxy on the DS that came out a bit later, I'd be surprised if it looked very different from this. Apparently, even though the video did take off, went viral, and this became one of the best known Mario hoaxes to date, Mr. Belmonte went on to say that for all his efforts, his project only got a B+. Talk about having a demanding professor. There is a good ending to this though, as he also states that even though he may not have gotten the best grade for this, his knowledge in creating all of these assets for this hoax were paramount in him getting his foot in the door of the video game industry. But I guess not before tricking us at least a few more times. Free DS content from Super Mario Galaxy with true local co-op? A new unlockable galaxy in the base game and Nintendo giving back some Wii points? Ah, what could have been? But unfortunately it wasn't meant to be, and such is the Super Mario Galaxy DS hoax. Although I was really disappointed to learn this wasn't real back in the day, looking back now, all these rumors and hoaxes that weren't disproven in like 5 minutes are really something I cherish from that era. And the Super Mario Galaxy DS dream isn't quite over yet. A talented team comprised of Red Poison Dragon, Pan64, and Pound Inc. are actually working on bringing over the Super Mario Galaxy experience to the DS by creating a ROM hack for Super Mario 64 DS. It's still in development and pretty hush-hush until it's ready for release, but they were gracious enough to give me some exclusive footage from their project to give you guys a little sneak preview of how it's gonna look. So if you're interested to get as close to a true Super Mario Galaxy DS experience as you likely ever will, be sure to be on the lookout for it when it's released. Anyways guys, that just about does it for this Mystery Bit video and I hope you enjoyed. I haven't really done these in a while, but let me know if there are any other gaming mysteries or hoaxes you'd like to see me cover in the future. 
And if you haven't yet seen the ones I've already made, like the one about the rumored unlockable characters in Super Smash Bros. Melee, check them out by clicking or tapping on the card right here. Be sure to subscribe here for future videos, swing by my other social media things which are all linked in the description below, and if you want to support the channel, check out my merch over at tetrabitgaming.com, or consider becoming the latest member of the Bit Club to get some nifty extra channel perks. Click on the join button below for more information. Anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in a bit.